well we can get on to the five hindrances huh? the five hindrances kama chand vyapad thinamid uddach kukuch ah good thank you and vichikicha uh so kama chand is a desire for the pleasant sensation that is the important thing we have we have three kinds of sensations pleasant unpleasant and the neutral sensation huh and the pleasant sensation we like so when we like the pleasant sensation we want to get more and more of the pleasant sensation this is why uh, children like chocolates or ice cream or these things why because it is pleasant in the same way people like to see beautiful pictures because that is also pleasant and people like music because it's a pleasant sound and pe- people like perfumes because it's a pleasant smell and people like uh, the pleasant uh, taste and then they also like the pleasant touch it is in the pleasant touch that people think of sexuality this sexuality really comes from uh, the child touching the mother's body it is the child touching the mother's body that develop the touch of the human body so past memories come into the mind when you touch the human body and that has turned into sexuality so that is the important thing to understand sexuality is mainly coming from the sense of touch and uh, partly from the eyes and partly from the sense of touch and uh, the body is made in such a way that the the desire for sexuality comes up <laughs> a very interesting thing that i saw but it's even sometimes uh, ugly to see and sometimes uh, maybe that when uh, an elephant gets activated sexually that sight is very funny looking uh, have you ever seen that very rarely you have the opportunity to see but i saw on a uh, picture you might be able to see in the computer you have these ideas in the uh, youtube uh, how a uh, elephant uh, uh, begins to get sexuality all the the elephant's uh, tools come out you see 
So these things happen just by looking at the female, you see. The male looking at the female uh, gets worked up in that way. So these things happen because of uh, the natural tendencies. It's a natural in the sense that the body is made up in that way. So it's a physical thing. The physical sight and the smell and uh, things like that comes into this and the activation comes up. But as I said earlier that in the human being, out of all animals, the human being is able to stop that emotional urge by thinking because the human being has the ability to think and by thinking it is possible the thinking part of the mind comes and interferes with the emotional part. That's how it happens and uh, stops. So this is why the Buddha pointed out Chetana ahang bhikkave khammang vadami. Chetana really means the thinking part, the mano, comes and obstructs the chitta part. Chitta is the, the emotional part. So Chetana is a decision. It becomes a decision. Even if you are angry and you want to kill someone, but you decide not to do that. Or you become sexually uh, excited about seeing some nice looking girl or something. <laughs> the man uh, thinks, no, that is not right and can stop. Is the human ability. The animals find it difficult to do that. So that chetana is the real karma. What is called karma, it comes from this ability to uh, stop this emotional urge. And so what we call meditation is learning to gain control over our emotions by thinking in the right way. So that is the meaning of mano pubbangama dhamma. The mano is able to change things. So it's very important to understand. So when we talk about uh, overcoming the five hindrances, it is the mano that we begin to use to stop this. So whenever there is a, a desire for pleasure, we can change our thinking by thinking of another thing that is going against that. So we can think of the impermanence of pleasures, that pleasures are not things that you can obtain all the time. You see, it's like a child says, I want ice cream. Now, child is thinking of the ice cream and the taste in the ice cream and thinking, I want ice cream. Huh? So when the child keeps on thinking, the mother says to the child, well, ice cream is very tasty and good, but 
I am not having enough money to buy ice cream for you. You see? <laughs> so if the child is told that, then the child has to stop thinking of ice cream. And then the mother may be giving something else uh, from maybe some sugar or something and putting it into the mouth. So like that, you see, and maybe the child wants to say, I want uh, a bicycle, that other child in the other house has a bicycle. I also want a bicycle. So the mother says, I don't have money to buy bicycles. So you see, we don't have to need, we don't need uh, bicycles, you can sometimes, uh, I will try to uh, talk to the other child in the other house and once in a way we can borrow the, that bicycle and ride a little and come back. And so like that, you see, we can change things. For human beings that can be done. So this is why we do things like playing games. Playing games are also because there is what is called winning and losing. The winning and losing itself is something that helps you to overcome your desires. Instead of fighting, you play games. And you can uh, uh, win in the game, but you are not doing any harm to anyone. So it's a thing like that. The human beings have the ability to somehow change things. So this is why the karma chanda, or the desire for pleasure, can be got rid of by thinking of the disadvantages of going after pleasure. So you begin to reflect on anicca, dukkha and anatta. So it's by thinking of anicca, dukkha and anatta you can overcome the desire for pleasures. And also you can think, it is only, there is another important thing that we should understand. When we think, there are two ways of thinking. One is thinking in pictures. We call it visual thinking thinking in pictures and the other is thinking in words verbal thinking thinking in words so it is the visual thinking that gets the emotions excited when we see things in our, in the form of pictures, so we can also, if we are uh, agitated by emotional desires for things, we can turn into a different picture. And that is what the Buddha talks about when he says, if you are interested in uh, some sexual relationship with some person or something, you can turn to a different picture like a dead body or even <laughs> thinking of... Uh, uh, some other pictures where the emotion is not aroused in that way. 
So that is why we think of the parts of the body. Now it is only when we see something, a person, we can see a nice looking, say a young man looking at a girl, seeing the nice picture, but you can say, supposing you take that skin off, how will it look? Huh? So you see the inside of the body. When you begin to think of the inside of the body, that desire goes away. So that is how the Buddha is talking about how to overcome this desire for sensual pleasure by changing the picture and by thinking of dead bodies, thinking of the anatomy inside the body, when you take the skin off, how it will look. So these things are very important to understand. And when we think of uh, anger and hatred, we practice the metta meditation. May all beings be well and happy. So you are thinking not only about yourself, you are thinking of all beings and all beings are suffering. You begin to think that there are so many people in the world who are suffering, either due to poverty or due to sickness, and in so many ways they suffer, and you have compassion for other people. And may all beings be well and happy. So the unhappiness is not only for yourself, but for all beings. And everyone is unhappy sometimes due to various reasons. And therefore, you think of others, not only just yourself. And you begin to have compassion for other people. And that way you are thinking of others and by thinking of others as others' happiness is as important as your own happiness, just as a mother thinking of her only child. And so we begin to have compassion. And this way, ultimately, by thinking of all beings, we lose ourselves in the interest in all beings. And I said it turns into karuna, mudita, and upekka. So that is the how to overcome. And tina middha is simply laziness and sleepiness, which is sometimes partly coming from uh, uh, parts of your body where, where you, you have been very busy and you, uh, the body wants to relax, or when you have eaten, all the blood rushes to the stomach and the head begins to feel sleepy. So these are some of the things that happen in the body itself. And so the sleepiness and laziness can come in different ways like that. But by changing your thinking to different pictures, you can come up again. Your 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 body can also get uh, uh, changed in a certain way. 
so that is why you think also of the you can think of death you can meditate on death and you can meditate on the buddha and the arahants and all these things help and also meditating on breathing this way you can overcome worries and anxieties in various ways by thinking of different things and another important thing is we when we stop learn to stop thinking about the past and if you are worrying about something that happened in the past you can change your mind to some things in the present which are better or maybe you think of the future and sometimes if you are worrying about the future you can think take your attention away from those things by thinking of pleasant things and so this is so by changing the pictures in your mind you can do a lot of uh, changes now even in this uh, me- kind of meditation called uh, uh the pure land meditation so people think of a pure land and a, a kind of buddha that lives in the pure land and by thinking of that buddha people get inspiration so these are also using pictures to purify your mind so also to become aware of uh, what is called vichikicha where the mind divides into two the thinking mind pulling in one direction and the emotional mind pulling in another direction there again when you begin to understand how the mind works and how the buddha and the arahants and all these other meditating disciples of the buddha how they overcome their uh, worries and problems so we begin to learn gradually by changing our thinking It's mainly by making use of visual images we can change our thinking it's very important to understand that how the mothers are able to stop a child crying when the child begins to cry the mother will try ah look at this this is a very beautiful thing here look at this or tell her, give her toy and the child changes you see it's all visual thinking by learning to change the picture in the mind it is possible to change these things so it's very important to learn these various methods that's why the buddha says buddha nusuti metta ch asubang marana sati that means to think of the buddha is buddha nusati even the 
pure land meditation is mainly thinking about the Buddha. That thinking of the Buddha and even thinking about the arahants of the past, how they began to meditate. And even to think about that gives us inspiration. And uh, Buddha Anusati and Metta means practicing the Metta meditation. May all beings be well and happy. And Asuba meditation, that is meditating on the various parts of the body or meditating on corpses, dead bodies and the various things. Asuba meditation and uh, think of the death of the bodies and the death of everyone that Everyone has to one day die and uh, to think of death itself. And these are things that uh, gradually help us to change our way of thinking and purify the mind in this way. But mainly, ultimately, we have to get into learning how to breathe properly and relax the body. That breathing properly and relaxing the body, we gradually, we are able to get into a very relaxed state of the body and a calm state of the mind. And that is how we gradually enter what are called the jhanas. So we should try to attain the jhanas by learning to relax the body and calm the mind. So that is the way to enter the jhanas. Jhana is not met by trying to concentrate. Some people think Meditation is concentration. That is the wrong idea of meditation. Meditation is relaxation and calmness. That is the important thing. It's only when you practice those exercises in the morning which helps you to understand the meaning of relaxation and calming the mind. So these are the important things to learn. So we have come to uh, four o'clock. Is that the time for tea? Ah, so we are getting into the tea break. And so... <laughs> yeah.